So you join me for an in-session piece on my home turf here on Raysbury South Lake. Now I've got a short session. I've managed to end up in one of my favourite swims called the Hooligan and uh, already we're off to a good start. We've just got the rods out. It's nice and sunny. I'm feeling very confident of a bite. This session I plan on showing you what was in the spring Club Carp subscription box. And that was a very nice, very simple little Ridge Monkey blowback rig that I use regularly in my fishing. I'm fishing two methods this session. One is up nice and tight to snags, and the other one is out towards open water at range, and, uh, and I'm using two different baiting methods to accommodate those. I'm gonna finish sinking this line down. It's getting really hot here, so I'm gonna get myself a nice cold drink, and then I'll show you in depth, maybe tomorrow, the rig that I've been using and why. Well, a very good morning, and, uh, and it's certainly a good morning for myself because uh, my left hand rod fishing out in an open water spot, heavily baited, with a load of boil has absolutely melted off. I'm fishing at quite a bit of range, and um, it's taken a little while to get the carp back this far. He's right underneath my rod tip now, so. Um, just got to be careful because there's a big post off to my right hand side and so far he's trying to kite around it. Well, he really is trying to uh, push underneath this Aaron. Look at this cool little character. First fish this morning, 18 pound, four ounces. And uh, it, she looks absolutely stunning. Like all of these carp in this lake, the water is absolutely gin clear, which makes them go really, really dark, just like this one. Right, I'm gonna slip him back because I've got one more in the net. It's a little bit bigger. And, uh, and then I'm gonna show you the bait that I've been using this session. Brilliant, what a start. Well, here we go, fish number two of the session. Just a little bit bigger than the first one, at 19 pounds and a few ounces. But it just goes to show, getting that rod back out on the spot straight away certainly pays off. Now I've put all three rods on that baited spot and I'm gonna knock up a little bit more bait now and get it back out there because the fish have evidently found the little area that I've been baiting. All right, throughout the session, hopefully I'll catch a few more but I'm going to show you the rigs that I've been using that I've got massive amounts of confidence in 
and I'm feeling pretty confident of another bite. Right, let's get her back and get some more bait out. I'm using a bait mix that I've got the utmost confidence in and the main ingredient is boilies. So for first of all, I'm just taking three or four full choppers full with the Ridge Monkey Chopper of chopped boilies, so that's half boilies, in my mix, a few handfuls, a good amount of sweet corn, and I love the sweet corn because it adds a real visual aspect on the bottom of the lake bed and carp absolutely love it. And then just to finish it off, I'm just putting in a load of the bait booster to match those new boilies from CC Moore that have been in really well on. Giving it a good mix together, as simple as that. Mixing up enough at a time just to get a few spots out. And there we have it. A real simple bait mix that the fish are absolutely loving and it's doing very, very well. And I've got loads and loads of confidence in. Just sitting there enjoying a lovely cup of tea that uh, Aaron the cameraman had just made and um, I sat there and you would not believe this you had to be here to believe it I said we're gonna get a carp in a second and then just as I finished the sentence the right hand rod has burst into life we put all three rods now on that baited spot put plenty of bait out earlier that I've just showed you and to get a daytime bite I'm really really pleased with this is predominantly nighttime bites this venue I found that I, my experience here has just been that bites come between sort of midnight and about 10 a.m. so to be able to get one during the middle of the day off that baited spot just goes to show that the bait the rigs the presentation it's all coming together and working nicely well, I'm going to concentrate on getting this one in because he's still a little way out. There's a lot of weed out there. And I've got snags to the left and right of me. I just want to make sure we get him in nice and safe. number three this morning a mid 23 pound mirror a little bit bigger than the two this morning over that baited spot with all that chopped boily and corn I'm going to show you the rig that I've been using to a good effect and you would have had all the components in your spring club carp subscription box but in the meantime I'm just going to admire this fish get a couple of pictures slip her back and we've still got a little while left of this session so I'm confident of another carp or two, but let's cross our fingers for a big one. So let me explain a little bit about how I tie this simple blowback rig. So to begin with, I'm going to take a good length of chosen hook material. 
This can either be the rock bottom hook link material that you found in the spring subscription box, or in this case, where I'm fishing at Raysbury, I'm using the Camo X in 25 pound. Now I'm taking about 16 inches to 18 inches, and it may seem quite a lot, but I like to fish my rigs quite long. Strip back four inches of the coated braid, and then tie a really simple overhand knot. This is gonna form the loop part of, your, of the hair. Thread on your hook bait of choice, and in this case, I'm using a little yellow dumbbell from CC Moore. Bait stop it on so it doesn't come off, and then down to an overhand knot on a micro rig ring. We're gonna place that over the point of the hook and bring it down in line with the barb, and then in turn, point the other end of the line through the eye of the hook, and then turn it eight times back to form the knotless knot. Next up, slip on your kicker of choice, and in my case, I like to use the big long ones. It aids in making that pattern of the hook even more aggressive, and bigger fish just cannot deal with it. Measure off about 12 inches of hook link material, and then tie again another overhand knot in the end of the line to form the loop section that's gonna connect onto my uni leg clip system. And there we have it, the most simplest blowback rig you'll ever tie, but by far one of the most effective. This guy is really, really angry. Caught on first light this morning, the sun is just coming up, and my uh, left hand rod on the baited spot again has rattled away. Well, that's the end of this session, and it just goes to show that them little rigs, the simple blowback rig, but over a large bed of bait, fish to a tiny clear area at range, has worked. I haven't weighed it, it's quite a small one, but nonetheless, an absolutely stunning carp. My time here at Ray's B has been very, very fruitful, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to coming back for my next session. I hope you've enjoyed the last little session, the in session here at Ray's B with the blowback rig, four fish in total. If you've liked this content, please hit that like, subscribe button below, or put a comment in on who you'd like to see coming up in a future Club Carp subscription box. Right. This fish has just pooed all over my hands, so I'm gonna get him back because he obviously wants to go back home and uh, eat some more boilies. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.